Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Art. Today, we're going to be taking on Haiti and Skull. And as you can probably guess, we... <laughs> we're going to be using bats. I know, I know. It's probably not the most ideal situation. However, I am kind of curious how they're going to work out. Especially when they're in a pack of 30 of them. So, let me show you the stats. I'll show you the saddles. I did change the saddles around since the last time we created them. I really didn't want to use that 300% Ascendant one. It just seems way too overpowered. So... I have one that is a 167.2 Mastercraft, so that's one that I have a blueprint for now, made in the upgrade station. However, for our bats, we've got their health is at 15,000, just over that, so it's not too bad, and then damage is 1100% almost. The thing I'm kind of worried about is the movement speed is 538. That's the one that we got, they kind of carried over from the male that we tamed up not too long ago. I'm kind of worried whenever I have them attacking something, if... They're going to be going nuts and flying too fast to actually catch it. That's going to be probably one of the main issues. As you can see, we've got a couple different mutations on some. Nothing really well. I do have one that has... I think this one has damage and this one has health. Or, or vice versa. Something like that. That's going to be my breeding pair, though. I'll work with those later. I didn't want to try to get mutations into all these. Just because I didn't get those until the very end. And there is no way I was about to breed 30 more bats. These two I just need to get rid of. They're my breeding pair that I did have before I got those. So I need to sort that out later. And then this is the one that has the good colors. I am going to be riding on this one today. So this has one of the good saddles before I got rid of the blueprint. It's a 346. And like I said, we're going to be riding it. Dude, why is your health not full? So we'll be... We'll be kind of... I think we'll be safe. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to be off the ground. Hadian Skull is not something you want to mess with. At least whenever we play the mod map version. That was the one that almost took out my Giga. It was a very, very bad fight. So that's one reason why I wanted to use the bats. It's kind of... I mean, we're up off the ground, right? So we should be a little bit safer than being on the ground? I'm not too sure. I haven't looked up anything about this fight. Like I usually don't. Kind of going into a blind. So we will see. If we get wiped, it's not that big of a deal. We will just come back and try different teams. However, I think we have everything. Oh yeah, we got one new addition. So making up all these saddles, I needed a ton of resources. So I ended up getting an Argentavis. I mean, there's tons of them around. I think it was a 145 before I got it tamed up. Don't have too many points into it. Just a little bit into weight and a tiny bit into health to keep us alive. But that thing, oh, dude, that thing has saved my life with all of the resources. It wasn't too bad on the metal and stuff. It was mainly the wood and hide. However, I think we have what we need. We're taking in 180 on our shotgun. Just because we used that so much in the last one, I wanted to make sure we had enough ammo. We have our 30 rune stones and then the bats. As you can see, we don't have very many females. So I'm not too sure how the mate bonus is going to work out. Majority of it was all males, so it's kind of weird. And we are wearing our normal armor, so that's got the chitin armor underneath the skin. So let's head over to the portal. We'll jump over to Asgard and then check out and see how this works out, man. I think we'll be okay. Regardless, I am going to make it out with the bat we're on i'm not gonna be doing too much fighting it's gonna be mainly just sitting back and kind of directing the the flock of bats where to go so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting man i'm kind of curious how this will work out hopefully better than it did with the sabers oh dude i tell you what that steinbjorn fight with the sabers never again man <laughs> that was so stressful all right so let's get our bat out i think what we'll do is we'll probably wait until we get over here and throw ours out. I did not want to try to... I don't want to have to fly from there all the way over here with all those bats with 500% movement speed. Ours is only, I think, 300, right? Yeah, it would have been a little bit of a pain trying to keep them. We're not going very far anyways. I am worried about all that stuff, though. That's a lot of Allosaurs there. It's going to be right by our boss fight. I mean, it'll be fine. Like I said, we're going to be up in the air. I should have brought the Shadow Mane to clear out a lot of this stuff. Let's go ahead and pick some of these up. We'll get rid of them. That'll give us a couple blood packs, just in case reasons. That's kind of cool how this thing can pick up some teams, and it kills stuff off so fast, man. That's the main thing I'm worried about is just those. I wonder if we can pick the pig up. That's a little big. Oh, we can! Holy crap, dude! You can pick up a whole pig with this thing. Interesting. Good to know. Not worried about the Kentros. Not worried about that other mammoth, either. All right, cool. That should be fine. Let's get up here. I do like how this portal is so close to the terminal up there, you know? So let's see. Let's go ahead and I think we'll just set them out here. I was thinking about breaking these guys up into two different groups. But I think I'm going to keep them just as one. 
and then we'll switch targets if we have to. So, if you didn't know, Hadean Skull is two Fenrirs, and they are no joke. They are not your ordinary, <laughs> not your ordinary wolves, man. They are definitely tough. I think on the mod map version, they had roughly 20,000 hit points each, and they did a ton of damage, man. But let me get all these guys out, and then we'll go ahead, spawn it in, and see if we can do this without dying. All right, so we got everybody out. That is a ton of bats. I'm just saying, it's like an army, man. <laughs> kind of terrifying. Just saying. All right, let's keep you fairly close. Because I think they both spawn in right here. Cool looking terminal. This is probably one of my favorite looking terminals. I like the one in the ice biome as well. So, 30 runes for you. One, Haiti, and Skull. So there's one there. The other one's on the other side. Oh, they look awesome, man. So we will let them do their thing. That is a massive amount. Oh, dude. So cool. We'll keep aggro over here for this one. So it looks like our bats are doing full damage. That one's stuck. Not sure what's up with him. Dude, we have got so much... Oh, those bats are creating so much lag, man. There we go. He was stuck on that rock. So that's not too bad. They're doing okay. Oh, wait, is one dead? Oh, that was another... Oh! They spawn minions! I'm not too sure what's going on there. Okay, so we got two of the bosses. One of them's almost dead. Which is fantastic. That one right there. I know in the mod map version, one did, I think, more damage but had less health. And then vice versa. Cool, so there's Skull down. Nice, nice. Oh, dude, this... <laughs> This is super simple with the bats, man. We're going to just sit back and watch them. Hopefully we get the runes. That's the main thing, right? Or the relics. That's what we didn't get with Steinbjorn. I mean, they're doing fantastic, man. They're doing a ton of damage. And then being up off the ground, we don't have to worry about anything happening to them. Maybe I should try Steinbjorn with them, too. Nice, nice. Looking good. He's got about a quarter health left. Oh, dude, we might we might have to do Steinbjorn again. I've almost got enough of the runes to do that. Just need to kill a couple more alphas. I mean, we'll do reduced damage to Steinbjorn, but still, I mean, all these bats, man, holy crap. I don't know. He's got that, uh, he's got that whirlwind he does. That might cause problems with the bats. Oh, dude, that's it, man. The fight's over. Holy crap, dude. Well, let's, uh... Let's see who has what. Are we safe here? Can we get off our... Our team? Alright, let's pick up... That one's ours. Let's go ahead and start picking all these guys up. I don't think any of them really took any damage either. Alright, you got some bags. Oh, that is a ton of blood packs. Oh, dude, we got blood packs for days. I didn't think about that. Hey, well, let's grab our... Stuff out of here. Nothing in that one. Okay. Where is... Dude, I don't want all the blood packs. I just want to search for the boss loot. If there is any. Dude, I think I way overdid it on the bats. I'm just saying. <laughs> Probably could have done it with, I don't know, maybe 10, 15? Oh, dude, did I not get any loot? This is all just blood packs. Oh, please tell me I actually got loot out of this, man. And none of them have it in their inventory. So they didn't get it. I didn't get it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, nice. Cool. Oh, we got it. So there's the relic. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and just grab all this stuff. We'll look at it in a second. Not worried about those. I want to double check to make sure there wasn't another bag, right? If they both drop stuff, or is it just whenever you kill the last one? There are so many blood packs, man. I almost want to take some with us, but I mean, we really don't need it, right? So that's it. That's all of the... All the bags. Interesting. Are you... Which one are you? Not the one I'm looking for. All right, so that's it. So, what we got for loot... Well, I'll tell you what, let's get on our bad just in case. What we got for loot was a whip. We got the relic that we need. Oh, wait, that's Skull. Where's the Haiti one? 
All right, give me a minute, man. Let me go through all these bags. I'm going to just trash them as I pick them up to make sure I don't miss one. And that way we can make sure. I think we're supposed to get a relic for each one, I think. All right, so I checked all the bags. We even had one bat that was way over there. And we only got the one relic. So I'm kind of seeing like a 50-50 online about some people saying they get relics. Some are not getting them on every drop. Some are saying that if you get element, you don't get a relic instead. So it seems that we got one stack of element and one relic. That might be what it is. I don't know. We'll have to see. However, our loot. <laughs> we got an aloe saddle. We've got a chally saddle. We've got 30 element. So that's probably from one of the other wolves. We got a glider suit, which is very nice. I do want one of those on this map. Haven't made one yet. An ascendant minigun. Interesting. We've got a nice pike blueprint. We've got another shotgun. We've got a rock drake saddle. Interesting. Then we got a roll rat saddle. I do want to tame one of those, dude. We haven't had one of those in so long. They are super fun to run around on. Then we got our normal relic, and we got the whip. And then I think we have all of our bats, and it looks like they did take some damage, but not too bad. They lost, looks like maybe, maybe 4,000 health on each one. I probably could have put more into damage and then used less. So what I'm wanting to do is try to get some of the boss fights set up to where it's like, okay, Hadean Skull, we use bats. And then on Steinbjorn, maybe we'll use, say, Allosaurus. And then for the B, maybe we'll use Stegos. I don't know. Not those particular ones, but you know what I'm saying, right? Get a set ones, because I think what's going to happen is, I bet this is going to be really grindy to get all of these relics, just because, I mean, this is the final map, right? They're not doing any more, so it's probably got a nice grind element to it. Seems that there's so many bosses. And I think there's a timer on when we can respawn those again, too. I don't think we can do it right away. Which kind of sucks, because if you are trying to get certain relics, and you're on a cooldown timer, you know, what's supposed to happen with that then? You're going to have to wait around, and it's going to kind of suck, you know? Let's go ahead and... I don't think we need any of this stuff. Let's get rid of you. Put you into there. And I want to keep you separate. Down there. Cool! Let's jump back over there, and we'll see where we're at in life. So one of the things I was worried about using the bats was how fast their their movement speed is. And it seems like they didn't do too much flying around whenever they were... Oh, that's a very nice looking acro. Only a level 50. Interesting. Anyways, <laughs> I was worried about their movement speed being too high and flying around and not being able to hit their target. That's not the case. So what I think I want to do is, like I said, I have these two bag of base here. One has a mutation for health. The other one has a mutation for damage. Luckily, that's a male and female, so all I need to do is breathe them a little bit more and get a pair that has each, right? A male and a female that has both. And I think what I might do is try to get some more health mutations, and then maybe next time we only take in like around 15 or so. I mean, seeing as how these only lost around 4,000 health. It is kind of because they have so many of them, right? Kind of spread the damage out over everybody, but... That'll make it a little bit easier to handle, and then we can farm those guys pretty easy. I think I have almost enough to do one more fight. Let me take a look and see real quick. And I don't think we can set the relics out on display. That's something else I wanted to test today, too. I don't think we can use a trophy stand. We'll try it, though, and we'll make one of the artifact stands just to see. It'd be kind of cool if you can put them on display. How do I not have enough obsidian? Dude, I had a ton of it. Oh, I made up a bunch of polymer. Okay, tell you what. Give me a second. There's some not too far away. All right, so let's do a little bit of testing. Out of that screen. Thank you. Let's put the pick away. Thank you what? Cooperate, man. It doesn't go in there. Okay. Maybe on the trophy? Dude, I tell you what, it'd be very nice to be able to set this stuff up if we can. Let's put you... Right there. You can't. Okay. Not a big deal. It would have been awesome if you could put those on display like artifacts. I'm just saying, keep that in mind for later. We'll go ahead and we'll hold on to all this stuff. And hopefully... We'll get it sorted out so we can figure out if those are 
something that just happens. Because, I mean, with Steinbjorn 2, we only got the stack of element. So that kind of makes sense. You get element instead. And I think we got all of our batch, right? 2, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, we do got everybody. Just wanted to make sure. And let me show you our blueprint real quick before we go. In case you were wondering. So this is the Mastercraft bat saddle that we got. It's not too expensive. Like I said, the metal is the main thing that is low, which I like. It's only 466. And then about 1200 wood, 2700 on the hide, and then 1800 on the fiber. So overall, it's not too bad, man. Not too bad. Ah, uh, dude, well, not too bad of a day today. We got Hadean Skull down with very little problem. We've got the bats that are set up fairly well. Like I said, we'll do some breeding to try to get that worked out later so we can take in less of them next time. And then we still have the bee to do. Not too sure how big the cave is for it, and not too sure what kind of creatures I want to take in. But that's something I'll do some research on a little bit later. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.